Welcome back. I am Cryogenic Eevee, and we are now finally in Theta. Yes, Theta. I'm getting all my fucking names confused all the time. That's a lovely sight. I bet you I can break in there. Alright, alright. Let's find something. Nope, can't jump over. Alright, so let's break that open. I wonder if that's powerful enough. Looks like cardboard. Let's find out. Yeah, definitely cardboard. This place is fucking, like, nice. I mean, by comparison to all other shitty places I've been. Can't jump over the railing. Loading platform. Cargo item. Let's try this. Seems heavier. Alright! Anything cool and fun and fancy over here? Nah. Humidifier. Was this okay. Oops. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, the oh, wow. Oh, that looks delightful over there. Is that oh tape? That's cool. Alright, looks like my only option is machine hanger control. We're gonna get in some trouble, aren't we? We're here? We're here! Okay, great! Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Hmm. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend, it's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it can survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is, and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic. Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Ah, oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold on. Oh my god, that thing is fucking messed up. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you, so you can explore the station. I get spooked out of my mind! Great. Can I... We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Find someone who knows the okay, security okay, cipher. Okay, 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 okay. That's not a door. I thought it was a door. That's gonna be a problem if I have to haul ass back in here. Fuck! Whatever, just go over there. That was a little creepy. Oh god, I don't like this. I 
don't like this. This is horrifying. This looks like a goddamn spaceship. What happened to all the people? This place looks deserted. So far. It doesn't make any sense. Theta is clearly the best option for survival. Apparently not anymore, Catherine, just saying. Is there a light switch? Okay. Oh, trash can. Nothing. Uh, I was gonna say, this looks really comforting. Where did you go? Probably Lambda or Omicron? Well, we've seen Lambda already. So maybe Omicron. I don't like that soft scrabbling noise. Confucius. Buddha. Sorry, guys. Oh, this place is kind of stressful. I'm amazing looking. Finally, I'm so glad we got to see ourselves. Simon looks cool as shit. Awesome though, like Okay, so whatever that thing that's been chasing us is not Simon. Theory incorrect. Fucking chill out, dude. Maybe they all helped out with the Ark. To carry it to town? Well, it seems excessive, but not out of the question. Come on. Sorry, I'm like really quiet again. I'm just taking all of us in. <sighs> do not, do not appreciate. Okay. So it looks like down is definitely not an option. Nor is up, okay. All right, more delicious slurping noises. That's lovely. What the fuck is this? What was that even supposed to be? Oh, it's a door with the window blown out, I guess. Guy, ca oh. Oh, okay. Is that like a quarantine thing? Great. All right. Oh, hey. All right. So I'm guessing this is Guy and his children. Oh, that's not a picture. 
any more cool stuff? What is what is that? Oh. Well, if there's anything uh blown around, it's gonna hear me. What is this? A car. Some cool art. Uh, tools. So this guy is like a mechanic or something. Alright, chair, you're getting in the way. Get in the way, get out of here, chair! Get out of here! Uh, Maester Tool Safety. Okay. I hope I don't need that later. I wonder why that was locked up. Margie, Brandon. <gasps> Catherine's room! Hey, that's my room. You want me to bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. You're kind of messy. Just uh, I seriously don't want to find anything useful in there. Yo, dude, chill. I am going to explore at my own volition. What is this? You have a lot of toys. Oh, light. light. You don't have to search my room. We'll get by. Now nah, I'm gonna. Sorry, Catherine. Can't do shit about it. Journal. Ooh. Imogene Reed tested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by WoW, but more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way. Like someone had specifically created for WoW to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point, she was scanned and then loaded as a simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. After dissecting the Vivarium machine that Reed activated, it's clear that the WoW copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold Reed, the, hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar in its construction except for one point, where my capsule houses flat people constructed from model neurographs, the Vivarium's brain scan lives on. It isn't limited by its content, from the originating brain scan Reed emerged. The Reed inside the Vivarium was a perfect copy, that's creepy. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it works the vivarium, but I can replicate WoW's scanning technique using the pilot seats. They are already prepared with the type of electric magnetic drums needed. So she didn't come up with this herself? It was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to allow the diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect WoW has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the mockingbirds. The WoW must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seat and used it as a basis for intelligence and machines. Uh, with surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially started the ARC project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. Uh, then we will launch it into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something will, something will live on like that. Mark Sarang killed himself after his scan. He has been suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the Ark. I'm not sure how that would work. It did trigger a lot of arguments among the staff and apparently it's my fault somehow. Strohmeyer is not happy with me. I hope it will calm down. Is your computer... God, chair, get out of my way. Computer, no, okay. 
All right, looks like we're done in her room. Oh, it's Robin's room. We're gonna go in there for Stella. Yo, there's something over there. That's terrifying. Oh God. Sad. Oh, this chair is so fucking heavy. It's kind of weird that, like, these people can, you know, like, kill themselves and then continue to- it's fucking weird. We're all dying anyway. I'm all in. I put my faith in Sarang and the continuity. Oh, it's a scanner. Um, oh, it's a cat! Ah, it's so cute. All right, well, it looks like that. Martin Fisher. Oh dear fucking lord. Martin, your room is fucked up. Oh, these noises are horrible. That one's locked. Oh no, it's not okay. All right, I'm gonna come back here in a sec. I just wanna check. Mark Saran. Oh, Mark Saran. Oh, dangerous tricky area. Hmm. I'm gonna keep with that up, or if that's. Or if that's like quarantine sign. Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark. As I've explained, this is accomplished by ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. Do not frighten Catherine. I will do this in secret by folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion, I will bite down, quickly causing my own demise. When you discover the truth behind my death, know that there is no tragedy to mourn, for I am victorious. I advise all of you to do the same and join me inside the Ark. Dude, creep. He creep. Dude, this guy's hoarding all the post-its. Did you know that the human body consists of up to 75 trillion individual cells? They typically don't stay with us till we die. Some live a few days, while others live a few years. We're not affected by their short lifespans, and they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. <laughs> then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. When Dr. Chun populates the Ark, she is capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Soon you and your digital you will grow apart due to 
and diverging experiences, but for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Now remember, you are not your body. You are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy two places at once for a while. If you took away your body, I'm you would simply be the only one you can be. The you inside the Ark. Let your body die and continue on in the digital paradise among the stars. But it's not, like, it is you, but it's not the same you. You just fucking said that. There's no point in doing it, idiot. Okay. That oh, was this one that had the two. All right, let's read. Mark Sarang, Intelligence Analysis, Theta, Pathos 2. Mr. Sarang, the company is very pleased to hear of your success in making the WOW station wide presence, or WOW a station wide presence. We trust you appreciate what a unique opportunity this is. Uh, and that you'll do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you'll need to ensure that Dr. Johan Ross is able to steer and study uh, bleh, steer and study the WoW uh, from Alpha without outside interference. In case of an emergency, you may direct Julia Dahl at Omicron to forcefully eliminate any opposition, but please make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The WoW is an important, costly affair, and we hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. Well... Oh. Barely fucking read this shit. The Nature of Identity by Paliva or Pavlina Martinu. Questions about the self. Who are you? What does it mean to be human? Does your body or your surroundings confine or define you. All very difficult ideas to approach without having your questions be invalidated by the practical or mystified by the spiritually minded. Guides you through the history of great thinkers and what they have to say about identity. Is this something I can read? No? Oh. That pillow is super floppy. Pillow fight! I should just carry this around and like smack that thing next time it shows up. There's so much to fucking read in this guy's room. That's creepy. Look in. So he was studying the, I guess the wow, like what was happening with the wow. Gross. I don't even know. I don't even know, man. This guy was balls deep in creepy shit. Alright, before I go to that last room, I'm gonna make sure there's absolutely nothing else for me to do or read. Oh, there we go. Oh. Just pictures. Okay. What is this? the art project I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. This is where I would store the art scans. So you saved the whole staff digitally on these chips? That was the plan. I shouldn't be fucking with that right now.
Nah. Someone else can do that. I don't, I don't really feel like going anywhere near that shit. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Let's see. Oh, Nancy. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. Oh, no, 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 no. What? Munchie? David Munchie? How did this... What is this? Huh. I'll check mine last. Oh, so they did scan Berg too. Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. A legacy scan. Huh. Posting. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. That's a relief. Oh. Still figuring this out, so. It's freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are gonna run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. Okay, so that makes sense now. So. He went on to live, I don't know for how long, uh, the original Simon, and then Digital Simon, which is what we're playing as, woke up when everything went to fucking hell at Pathos. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, you're getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now, the brain damage. You guys, everything has made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. Oh, it's not wasted. What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're grateful learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed, I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Up in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. 
Jesus, how? Um, Nazar tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Dude, shit's getting heavy in here. Oh, you can see like the blood and stuff. Yeah, it's getting really intense, this game. It raises a lot of questions of what it means to be alive and what it means to be human. Okay. All right, let's check this main, like the atrium, if you will. Um, I guess, uh... Server Simon, access. The last report filed by the staff mentioned struggling with something called a proxy. The proxy we killed was blind, just like Acres, but it listens. Careful, we spotted two more by the infirmary. What do they look like? Not sure. Seems to be human enough to pass for a crew member at a distance. Tall, dark, and ultimately faceless seems to be what to look out for. Creepy as fuck. AKA, terrifying. On that note, I'm gonna cut it here. Thank you again for watching. Um, if you liked the video, I know not much happened, but we found out a lot of stuff and I wasn't that talkative, but if you liked the video, please like it. And if you wanna see more, please subscribe. So have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.